here and have a seat. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me. Nice to me. have you. Take the stage. Um, thank you very much for having me here on stage and for inviting me to Riga. Uh, my name is Ivana. Uh, I'll start with a bit of disclaimers, yeah? So I'm a bit old school, so I have my notes here. This is due to the one gin tonic too much last night, although it was very fun. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the party as well. Uh, currently, I take care of Google's brand and reputation marketing for Central Eastern Europe, which is more than 30 countries from Poland to Kazakhstan. Uh, I've been at Google for nine years now, um, and actually throughout my career at Google, uh, I worked in Dublin, uh, in Asia Pacific for a bit. Uh, I lived in Poland as well, and uh, I have worked closely with startups of all sizes. And actually, my team right now takes care of uh, building startup programs in the region to support founders, partnering with governments, um, partnering with different organizations like tech hubs, uh, and different companies to actually bolster this uh, thriving ecosystem. Uh, what I have to say as well is that I have a very long-standing romance and love affair with Riga. Uh, I really love it here. I keep coming back. Uh, and actually, every time I leave, I leave with a smile. Uh, and I'm very humbled by all the passion that you have here, all the great things that you do, great ideas, but not only ideas, also the success stories. Um, so I'm very happy and honored to actually be a part of this story um, and to get to meet all of you. Um, so, ready, steady, go. Um, actually, a question that I get asked most often uh, throughout my career uh, at Google and with startups is why Google should care about startups. Um, I think there is many fold answers to this. There is one very simple one, and that is that we were a startup 20 years ago and that actually we try to cherish and keep a lot of the startup culture at the heart of our company. A lot of our teams are in essence startups, so they try to solve big challenges with technology, whether that's uh, mapping out and early detection of breast cancer, whether that's prediction of floods, or whether that's building the next advertising product for companies to reach more consumers. Uh, around the world. So this is really, let's say, core to our thinking and core to our company. And we also empathize with startups, uh, although we're not uh, a startup anymore. And we just surpassed, let's say, 100,000 uh, employees last year. I think uh, out of other truths or things to mention, I think one thing we all agree on, and that's why we are here, is the fact that uh, the pace of disruption and the pace of technological change uh, is actually unstoppable and it's very rapid. So both the Baltic economy and the European economies are undergoing digital transformation at a very rapid pace, and not everyone can cope with that. Um, startups are at the core of this digital transformation. So in Europe alone, 800,000 startups employ more than 4.5 million people, and they kind of carry this change forward, and they're very important for the opportunity they create, the jobs they create, and the economic uh, growth they create. Um, at Google, we believe that we are uniquely equipped as well to help startups, not only because our heritage and the fact that we come from a garage, but also for the fact that we have a lot of know-how, we offer a lot of products and services, uh, and we have a lot of Googlers around the world who actually can partner with startups and help them propel faster uh, and grow faster. Um, so obviously, startups are different than SMBs. We are dedicated to helping businesses of all shapes and sizes grow, but somehow we have this passion for helping the ones who are start starting off at an early stage, so most of you guys. Um, so a tech startup is a company that wants to solve big problems uh, and tackle grand challenges with technology and scale quickly. So that's also embedded in the history of Google. Uh, it's different than, let's say, a barbershop, which also might hope to grow fast, however, not to tackle one billion users. Um, our dedication and passion for startups is grounded in, we call them, the three truths. So the first truth is what I mentioned already, and that's the fact that uh, being a startup and ent entrepreneurship is still uh, embedded in our DNA as a company. So a lot of ex-Googlers go out of Google and found new companies, some of them very successful. Um, and then a lot of 
ex-founders, or if you can ever be an ex-founder, uh, join Google and then uh, help Google thrive in a way. So that's the, the first core truth. And we partner with startups across the globe and in Baltics, help them grow their businesses. The second core truth is that uh, building for everyone and equalizing the opportunity is a big part of everything we do at Google. Uh, one part of this is building products and services to offer them to uh, as big of a number of people as possible. The other part of this is building programs like Grow with Google, for example, where you have access to free tools and services to actually get know-how about digital marketing uh, or anything else that can help you grow your uh, digital skills. So that's the second part. Um, when it comes to the third part, this is that uh, growing healthy digital ecosystems benefits everyone, including companies and economies, but it's also uh, obviously beneficial for Google's business. Um, so at the end of the day, Google's success relies on the success of our partners and the success of startups and all companies uh, who we partner with or who rely on our products and services uh, to help them grow and thrive in this, uh, say, growing, fast-growing ecosystem. So when it comes to our ambition with startups, this was supposed to be a highlighter, but it's not. Uh, our ambition with startups is actually to level out the playing field for founders and communities to succeed, uh, connecting them uh, with the best of Google. So what we mean by leveling the playing field, a lot of the things actually we do and a lot of the teams we have inside of the company are dedicated to underrepresented groups uh, to actually equalize the opportunity and to build diverse, inclusive, and uh, equal, equalized ecosystems. Um, and what we mean by bringing them the best of Google, that's what I already talked about, so that's product, services, know-how, uh, or actually direct investment from some of the funds that actually operate uh, under Alphabet. Um, so we, when we take a look at some of the ways that we can actually help, we as a company have a big commitment to, to startups and to growing the ecosystem in a wide array of ways. So I will try to practically cover some of the things that you can actually look up um, and uh, check out. So there's plenty of teams that are actually focused on startups only or on startups mostly across uh, all the stages of a startup's life. So whether that's if you have an idea and you can go to a campus or a partner of ours and get access to free tools and education. Um, if you're a more mature company, Capital G might invest. Uh, or if you're looking for access to more know-how and more uh, education materials, you can actually visit the Digital Garage or take part in a Grow with Google program, which is our digital skills program for individuals, SMBs, and startups uh, to take part and to get educated also face-to-face. -face. So actually recently, uh, we piloted or started a program in Estonia. We had a workshop uh, with a partner called Next Generation of Founders. That's a part of the Grow with Google program, for example. So also our philanthropic arm, google.org, invests in activities or uh, NGOs that actually help the startup ecosystem to thrive. We also have a grant in the Baltics, uh, previous one, but across the world, there is actually a lot of things uh, that you have access to, uh, to be able to get more input uh, or grow faster. Um, so we also believe that uh, Google has valuable products to offer at all stages of a company's development. Um, so the first part is actually helping developers to develop, so to get access to all the people who uh, actually use Android devices across the world. Um, to have access to cloud, whether you're a developer or a company of any size, you can actually get access to the same infrastructure and the machine learning capability that you Google, uh, Google uses to uh, power our own business. And then the third part is the, let's say, growth and scale part. So we help founders in many different ways with advertising solutions and know-how in advertising and growth uh, to help find more customers ac across the globe. Um, and to actually grow quicker. Um, when it comes to community part, it's essential for startup success to be inside of a thriving and uh, active community in a way. 
Uh, we have deep experience in kickstarting emerging uh, tech ecosystems and also helping tech ecosystems to grow. Um, we do this in two ways, actually. So one is building actual physical spaces, um, which are called Google for Startups campuses. We have four of them in the EMEA region. Uh, there's one in Warsaw, which is actually dedicated to Central and Eastern Europe overall. And the team, uh, Google for Startups there, builds programs for founders in our region to get access to mentorship, uh, residencies, um, education initiatives, or very specific vertical things like Game Camp, for example, which is solely for gaming de developers, etc. Um, the second way we do this is uh, via partnerships. So we also have an active partnership in uh, uh, Baltics, and uh, that's how we let's say scale the reach by partnering with uh, uh, top tech hubs and ensuring that we transfer the knowledge and know-how uh, in as many communities as possible. Diversity is uh, really a deep commitment that we have and at the core of many things that we do. I already mentioned that um, we actually build a lot of things for underrepresented groups when it comes to startups. Um, so I'm very happy that we also had a side event at Tech Chill yesterday. Um, so we had an I Am Remarkable workshop. It's a format which is actually available to everyone, so you can look, look it up online. It was developed at Google and later on scaled externally. Um, and it's built focused on underrepresented groups and on women to help uh, boost their confidence or gain their confidence uh, in a one to two hour format. Um, there's other ways that we're committed to diversity. So again, google.org, the philanthropic arm, or our Google volunteers partner with a wide array of, of organizations across uh, Baltics, Europe, and globally. And uh, for example, we partner with TechFugees to help displaced people get know-how and build their own companies. Um, or we partner with the different uh, NGOs across the startup ecosystem on uh, coding programs to actually help grow the uh, missing skills in the market that we have, et cetera, et cetera, uh, for underrepresented groups. Um, I think last but not least in uh, some of the ways that we help startups grow is actually access to funding. So again, uh, I love bullet points of so two ways. Uh, the first way is uh, connecting startups with top investors. Uh, whether that's at the physical spaces or at some of the events uh, that we do. Um, the second way is actually direct funding from Google. So there's a couple of funds operating under Alphabet. Um, one is um, Google, Google Ventures. So that's for earlier stage startups. There's Gradient Ventures who are investing in the future of AI. And then there's Capital G for later stage companies. Uh, investment. So these are two ways of us actually helping to bolster the, the investment in the startups as one of the keys for startup success in a way. Um, I also wanted to give you some additional resource from our side that usually uh, folks in this uh, area find very useful. So um, we know that culture is essential for success of startups. I read the research at what 24% of startups actually fail because of the wrong culture. So the people dimension is very important. We collected, uh, um, let's say, a collection of best practices, uh, ideas, thought leadership, um, and uh, research uh, on how to put people first and how to foster an inclusive, diverse, productive, happy work culture. So you can actually look it up. Um, it's not only Google's thought leadership. We also have thoughts from others. You can also find design thinking best practices here. That's actually very, very useful, both if you're a leader or if you're an employee or if you're thinking to uh, found your own company in the future. Uh, something that I'm also actually proud about because this is uh, something that was started and done by my team, uh, that's the thing with Google for Central Eastern Europe. Um, that's the home for digital marketing best practices. So if you're looking for growth uh, from digital marketing, for thought leadership, for what's coming next uh, in the future of marketing, uh, some of the case studies uh, from the region or globally, uh, you can find it here. And this is actually from the neighborhood, so an Estonian company who worked with our team 
uh, on their international growth strategy through app campaigns. So a lot of uh, digital marketing goodness over there. Uh, so I invite you to subscribe um, and actually to check it out. Um, so to wrap up slowly, um, we have a deep commitment and we love the startup community. Um, I think that there is a lot of opportunity in this region and that's why we are all here. It's really amazing and stunning what you guys do. Um, on the other hand, like we were also born in a garage 20 years ago, but it was a garage in Silicon Valley. And there is easier access to funding, to talent, to know-how um, in Silicon Valley. So what Google's commitment in the region is, is to bring more of all that love for startups also to Baltics. So in the hope of uh, building great things together, I thank you very much for uh, having me here, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Thank you, Ivana. Yeah, it's the other so stage. Sorry, I got the second microphone, microphone there. So do we have a question for Ivana? One, one quick question, anybody? Something about the Googleish, <laughs> Googleish stuff. Okay, it's the prior to lunch. So. All right. <laughs> thank All you. Right, thank you, Ivana.